गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम आहिर अलका रोहिदास फ्रॉम आर वी एन बी कॉलेज रामपुर आई एम फ्रॉम फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट आई विल स्टडी द इलेवेंथ साइंस ट्वेल्थ साइंस नाउ वी स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर यूनिट एंड मेजरमेंट सी यूनिट एंड मेजरमेंट फॉर we know physics is the study of natural phenomena it is the study of the matter then see suppose we have to uh, consider a length length in meter then meter is unit then sugar in kg that is kg is the unit now uh, milk in liter liter is the unit now what is the unit here unit unit is the reference standard used for measurement of physical quantity is called as unit then what is physical quantity a physical quantity which can be measurable it is called as physical quantity now the unit the unit is defined as the unit is defined as the standard the standard used for standard used for standard used for used for measurement of for measurement of physical quantity measurement of physical quantity is called as unit physical quantity is called as unit the standard reference standard used for measurement of physical quantity is called as unit then this unit must be the unit must be invariable unit must be invariable what is invariable very invariable means it does not change then unit must be universally accepted unit must be universally accepted universally accepted accepted and it is reproducible it is reproducible reproducible see the unit is the standard used for measurement of physical quantity is called as unit for good requirement or for good unit the unit must be invariable unit must be universally accepted and it is reproducible then the physical quantity it it is the the quantity that can be measurable it is called as physical quantity now there are different systems of unit systems of unit systems of unit the first system cgs system cgs system means centimeter centimeter gram gram second system second system that is length is measured in terms of centimeter mass is measured in terms of gram and time is measured in terms of second this is the cgs system length length is measured in centimeter mass is measured in gram and time is measured in second the system is cgs system the next system mks system mks system the mks system means it is meter kilogram kilogram second system second system then in this system the mass is the length is measured in meter mass is measured in terms of kilogram time is measured in terms of second this is mks system it is also called as metric system now the next system the 
एफ पी एस सिस्टीम एफ पी एस सिस्टीम इट इज फूट पाउंड सेकेंड सिस्टीम सेकेंड सिस्टीम दैट इज फूट पाउंड सेकेंड सिस्टीम द लेंथ इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फूट देन मास इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पाउंड एंड टाइम इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेकेंड द सिस्टीम इज कॉल्ड एज फूट पाउंड सेकेंड सिस्टीम दिस सिस्टीम इज यूज इन ब्रिटिश देर फॉर इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ब्रिटिश सिस्टीम्स ऑफ यूनिट नाउ द फोर्थ सिस्टीम इट इज कॉल्ड एज एस आई सिस्टीम एस आई सिस्टीम दैट इज सिस्टीम्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ऑफ यूनिट्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज एस आई सिस्टीम एंड इट इज सिमिलर टू और इट इज आइडेंटिकल टू एम के एस सिस्टीम दिस एम के एस सिस्टीम इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज और इट इज एस आई सिस्टीम्स ऑफ यूनिट द दो बोथ सिस्टीम्स आर सिमिलरली or somewhat same that is systems of unit the there are four systems of unit cgs system that is centimeter gram system that is length is measured in centimeter mass is measured in gram time is measured in second then mks system this is called as matrix system in this system mass is measured uh, mass is measured kiwa mass is measured in terms of meter uh, sorry the length is measured in terms of meter mass is measured in kilogram and time is measured in second then fps system foot pound second system that is length is measured in foot mass is measured in pound time is measured in second and the last system si systems of unit it is similar to mks system now the physical quantity physical quantity the quantity which can be measurable it is called as physical quantity physical quantity or it is qualitatively measurement of the quantity it is called as physical quantity the quantity which can be measurable it is called as physical quantity there are two types of physical quantity fundamental quantity and derived quantity fundamental quantity fundamental quantity and the second second type is derived quantity derived quantity the fundamental quantity what is the fundamental quantity the fundamental quantity and derived quantity the physical quantity which does not depends on any other quantity it is called as fundamental quantity derived quantity the quantities which is depends on two or more quantities it is called as derived quantity the physical quantity depends on or it is having two types the first is fundamental quantity another is derived quantity fundamental quantity the physical quantity which does not depends on any another quantity called as fundamental quantity derived quantity the physical quantity which depends on other quantity two or more quantity it is called as derived quantity then unit of fundamental quantity it is called as fundamental unit fundamental mental unit unit of fundamental quantity it is called as fundamental unit then derived unit derived unit derived unit is the fundamental unit of derived quantity it is called as derived unit the physical quantity is divided into two types the fundamental quantity and derived quantity fundamental quantity the physical quantity which does not depends on any another quantity called as fundamental quantity for example length mass time temperature are the examples of fundamental quantity then derived quantity the derived quantity which depends on 
टू और मोर फिजिकल टू और मोर फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटी कॉल्ड एज डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटी देन फंडामेंटल यूनिट द यूनिट ऑफ फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटी इट इज कॉल्ड एज डिराइव्ड यूनिट एंड द यूनिट ऑफ डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटी इट इज कॉल्ड एज डिराइव्ड यूनिट द सेवन क्वांटिटीज आर फंडामेंटल द रिमेनिंग ऑल आर द डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटी नाउ वी सी द मेन और फिर द seven fundamental quantities here the first it is length length its unit is meter its unit is meter it is denoted by m it is denoted by m the second mass the fundamental unit of mass is kilogram denoted by kg then time the si unit of this time is second denoted by s temperature temperature it is having si unit that is si unit is kelvin denoted by k then electric current electric current the si unit is ampere and denoted by capital a luminance intensity luminance intensity intensity its si unit unit is candela and denoted by cd and the last one is amount of substance amount of substance the si unit is mole and it is denoted by m o l see these are the seven fundamental quantities length the si unit is meter denoted by m mass the si unit is kilogram denoted by kg time the si unit is second denoted by second temperature si unit is kelvin denoted by k electric current it is si unit is ampere denoted by a luminance intensity it is candela then its symbol is cd amount of substance it is mole and denoted by m o l this is all about the fundamental quantities now see there are some rules to write the units that is see all the letters or the cap all the letters in the unit they are uh, small letters now the symbols are denoted like this and suppose it is the person name the symbol is capital so see ampere kelvin they are the scientist name therefore they are capital now we see the derived quantity see the derived quantity is the physical quantity which depends on two or more fundamental quantity called as derived quantity for example area see area is multiplication of length l multiplied by l that is length multiplied by length and its unit is meter square square meter square meter meter square volume volume it is cubic meter cubic meter volume is length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height it is volume and derived unit is cubic meter meter cube then velocity velocity the unit of velocity is meter per second meter per second and denoted by meter per second force force is the derived unit or si unit of this force it is newton newton denoted by n work it is derived quantity and si unit is joule denoted by j kinetic energy 
काइनेटिक एनर्जी इट्स ऐसा यूनिट इज जूल एंड डिनोटेड बाय जूल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इट इज ऑल्सो एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इट इज जूल डिनोटेड बाय जूल देन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल हैविंग एस आई यूनिट होल्ड डिनोटेड बाय होल्ड देन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट और इलेक्ट्रिक रेजिस्टेंस इलेक्ट्रिक रेजिस्टेंस इलेक्ट्रिक रेजिस्टेंस इट्स एस आई यूनिट इज ओहोम and denoted by this symbol omega these are all the derived quantity see what is derived quantity the derived quantity the physical quantity which depends on two or more quantities or it is called as derived quantity these are some examples area volume velocity force work kinetic energy potential energy electric potential electric resistance these are the examples of derived quantity then the physical quantity it is divided into two groups that is fundamental quantity and derived quantity the fundamental quantity it is also called as basic quantity there are seven quantity number of seven length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity amount of substance these are the only fundamental quantity there are two supplementary quantities and the supplementary quantities it is suppose supplementary quantities are it is plane angle plane angle the si unit is radian denoted by rad and solid angle solid angle it is stair radian denoted by str these are all about the physical quantity fundamental quantity derived quantity okay thank you